Gentlemen, let us now put our hands together and give a warm welcome to our Prime Minister, Mr. Lee Hsien Long. This exhibition holds great significance for both the National Library and the Tan Kah Kee Foundation as we honour the contributions of two of Singapore's most respected pioneers who have left a huge legacy in our nation's growth and development. Their stories need to be told, and NLB and the Tan Kah Kee Foundation have decided that the time is right for their telling. Let me just focus on one aspect of their legacy, namely their philanthropy in education. Both Mr. Tan Kah Kee and Dr. Lee Kong Chien were fervent supporters of public education at all levels and had the vision of a modern curriculum that would prepare young generations to prepare them for the demands of a modern and industrialized society. It is true, public donations and public engagement projects and programs such as this exhibition that we promote the importance of preserving national memories by preserving our literary heritage while bringing these alive for the people of Singapore. We want to instill in Singaporeans a sense of pride in our unique heritage that forms part of our Singapore identity. Chen Jia and Li Guangxian, two great men, for the Singapore education, culture, economy, and development, made many contributions. This is a common thread. We hope that by this exhibition for six years, 能够让社会人士、各各族人民以及尤其是年轻一辈的人了解陈家根、李光前现身社会以及他们创业的这个精神跟经验。我们都知道，新加坡的经济已经成为第一世界的水平，再加上政治稳定，因此我们更需要。重视这个本国的文化、历史的传统，也是应该尽量的提升这个文化的水平。这次的展览就是为了这个方向而举办的。Where Singapore is today is due in no small part to the ingenuity, the hard work, and the can-do spirit of our early pioneers. For many of them, Singapore was their adopted home. Despite their diverse backgrounds, they all made invaluable contributions that laid a firm foundation for modern Singapore. And the exhibition today tells the story of two of these pioneers, Tan Kah Kee and Lee Kong Tian. As a strong believer in educational philanthropy, Tan Kah Kee contributed, contributed extensively to school building efforts in both China and Singapore. He was also active in organizing the Hokkien Hui Guan the clan association, and made many contributions through the association to provide education for the masses. Today, a part of his legacy continues in the form of scholarships and awards for academic pursuits, such as the Tan Kah Kee Postgraduate Scholarship. Lee Kong Tian set up the Lee Foundation in 1952 and contributed to various school building funds and charities, a legacy that the Lee Foundation continues to this day. Many have benefited from the generosity of the Lee Foundation, which has consistently supported cultural, educational, and other charitable causes, regardless of race or religion, through good times and bad, not least this National Library. Singaporeans, especially younger Singaporeans, can learn much from the examples of these two pioneers. Their determination, their commitment to education, and their philanthropic spirit. We cannot recreate the unsettled circumstances that motivated the people like Tan Kah Kee and Lee Kong Chien. 
to set out and create wealth in virgin economies and new industries. And having succeeded to want to uplift their communities. But the spirit of these pioneers, a willingness to venture into areas that are new and untested, and a desire to contribute to something much larger than oneself, remains relevant to all of us today and to future generations of Singaporeans. Ladies and gentlemen, let us now invite Prime Minister Lee to plant the seed of growth. We will now invite Dr. Prasad and Professor Poir to join Prime Minister Lee in holding, in holding the watering cans. At the count of three, our three VIPs will water the, plant, uh, the seed to signify the opening of the exhibition. One, two, three. Ladies and gentlemen, the laser show you are watching now depicts the generous spirit of the two gentlemen in helping to improve society as a whole, especially in the area of education. Ladies and 